Um, the first memory that I have as a kid regarding with uh, La Liga, I was a little kid and I was with my family and a few friends. We were in total like 25 or 35 people watching TV and uh, we were watching a, a football match and uh, at some point one of the players scored a goal and you know everything exploded like everyone it was like goal and everyone started uh, burst into hugging each other laughing some of them were even crying and you know for me as a little kid and having that first experience i was like wow so i remember that at some point in, in that moment i something made a click in my mind so i realized that that wasn't a simple sport it wasn't even about football it was about uh something bigger than that it was uh, it was a feeling an emotion and and the, the feeling to belong to 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 something and i remember that it made me feel very very special so nowadays as a grown man to have the opportunity to be a small part of that is very very special for me and and also doing it by my other passion which is acting so this is a uh, the most amazing gift i could have uh, for me la liga is much more than just football it's a passion emotion it's a feeling and i think it's also great the power that it has about gathering people together and sharing all those great moments i think this year la liga is going to be very competitive meaning that we used to have the focus on teams like Barca or Real Madrid but, uh, but I think this, this season uh, Atletico de Madrid or Sevilla are going to be a great contenders too uh, but I'm also aiming for teams like uh, Getafe or, uh, or El, uh, Villarreal based or, on what, what they do last, last season uh, but I'm thinking also that every single year we have this teams let's say more humble teams that at some point they surprise you and they make makes things more difficult for the huge teams so i think it's gonna be more uh we are gonna see more equality which means more emotion which means more competitive